Hey everybody, it's Natasha. In today's video, I'm going to show you the Veritas Press Explores to 1815 History Flashcards, as well as Pages of History, Volume 1, Secrets of the Ancients, and Volume 2, Blazing New Trails. So I'm going to start with the flashcards and then we'll move on to the Pages of History book. So if you're familiar with classical conversations, this is kind of the same type of thing where you have a flashcard for each week, for each person or event that happened in history. It does go chronologically, but the difference between, well, there's a lot of differences and I won't get into that in all this video, but one huge difference between a lot of history programs that go chronologically and Veritas Press is Veritas Press is broken down in five years, where most are broken down into four. With Veritas Press, you um, don't start their history program until second grade. In kindergarten and first grade, they have beads a history of me and then beads a history of us, or maybe it's bedays. I'm not actually sure how you say that. I say beads, but anyway, nevertheless, um, you would do those in kindergarten and first grade. That's kind of like a social studies introduction to history sort of thing. And then in second grade, you jump into Old Testament in ancient Egypt, and then New Testament, Greece, and Rome, and then the Middle Ages, Renaissance, and the Reformation, and then explores to 1815 and 1815 to present. And so there are those five years. Now, I just jumped into explorers to 1815 because my daughter did start the year with um, different history, and she did do life pack, and we did um, a, a study on the American Revolution, and anyway... Since this is the typical fifth grade Veritas Press history, I just went ahead with it, basically, is what I did, instead of going all the way back um, to ancient history. So um, I got my fifth grader the online self-paced Explorers to 1815 course, and these cards were recommended as necessary, and the pages of history books were recommended, um, and there's additional recommended literature that I did not purchase because I thought I would try to get from my library first. But you can use these cards with their um, history program that you teach, or here's how you can totally use these cards to just do your own thing. Um, okay, so we have the cards. On the front of the card is a picture of the person or event in history and the name. So Prince Henry the Navigator. On the back of the card is a little snippet about that person with some, you know, dates. On the bottom, there are resources here. So the Kingfisher History Encyclopedia, it tells you what pages. Pages of History, Volume 2, that's what I have over here. And the pages, Streams of Civilization, Volume 1, and Streams of Civilization, Volume 2. So you can go through these cards. If you have these other books, you can read all the information there. If you have the online program or the uh, you teach program, then you can follow that. But you can really kind of make this how you want. But this is something that you could review and use um, for practicing your timeline and all of that. Okay, so then we've got Columbus Sales, The New World, and so forth. I'm not going to show you every single card because I just want you to get an idea. But um, there's A Child's Story of America, First Voyage to America, History of Us, History Pockets, Pages of History, Streams of Civilization, um, U.S. History, Pages 4 to 5. All these books can also be found on the Veritas Press website, I believe. Actually, I don't, don't quote me on that. Um, they might not be. But that is just some ideas of the books you will use. So it's kind of interesting because it's kind of, you can make this into a literature-based approach to history as well. And some of these resources will be geared towards, you know, a little bit older, a little bit younger. But the history series is geared towards second through sixth grade. And this particular one would be for fifth grade. However, it, it doesn't really matter it's second through sixth grade. And that's how these card work, cards work. There are 32 cards for each year. Whoops. And so that is what those are like. Now, the pages of history, this is what I was actually surprised about when I got. I didn't realize for some reason, I don't know, when I saw them on Veritas Press website, they didn't look like books to me. They looked like something more like a, I mean, they looked like a book, okay, but they looked like more like a, you know, an 8 by 10 book or something, not like a, a novel. These look like novels. It reminds me of Story of the World. 
so much so actually. Now, I don't know about the content yet because I have not read them, but these books are literally in story form, which reminds me of Story of the World in that way. However, there's only two volumes to take you through all of history from creation, you know, to present times. But they are written in a story format. Let me read you the back. It says, From a mysterious safe in a dusty library comes the gateway to a journey through history. What James and Lance thought would be a boring school project is astonishingly transformed into an adventure that will forever change their lives. So it's a bit different than Story of the World in, in that they're, um, you know, uh, James and Lance are going to go on this journey through history, whereas Story of the World is telling you the story of the world, but this is taking you with these two boys. So that is different. In fact, that reminds me of Secrets of the Hidden Scrolls, if you're familiar with those books. So it, it kind of reminds me of a cross between Story of the World and Secret of the Hidden Scrolls. It's what I think as I've looked through these. That's what it reminds me of. Anyway, it says, um, Perfect for family story time or individual study, Pages of History transports the reader through the timeline of the world, providing a view of God's work in every age. In this exciting first volume, James and Lance travel from creation through the Reformation. Oh, that's what I was thinking of when I said that. I was like, wait, that didn't make sense when I said that. <laughs> um, their adventures in history will captivate readers young and old. Unapologetic Christian worldview, engaging approach to classical teaching, covers 96 major events and thousands of years of history in the format of a compelling story. Now... I'm going to show you inside because this is volume one. So this one is actually not needed at all for Explorers 2, 18, 15. So I guess I just sell them as a set. They, you know, recommend you buy them um, as a set. But you don't actually need this one to go with Explorers to 18, 15. But it talks about the secret library and then it goes through each chapter and it tells you, if you can see that small, it tells you like what each thing is. So um, creation to Babel, early Egypt and Abraham, and you can see and so forth. Okay. It looks like under Father Abraham and uh, Laws and Codes, they forgot to capitalize that because they capitalized everything else. That's really weird. Okay. Um, anyway, so there's nothing really to show you in this because it is literally a book. It's a little, literally a story, right? Okay. But the, it does have those little, you know, black and white pictures spread throughout a little bit. But in the back, that's what I wanted to show you, really. Um, it has the index, okay? It matches Veritas Press History flashcards. So it tells you the card number, the card title, and the chapter. However, on each flashcard, now again, this Express Day 215 aren't in this volume, but it will tell you on here, volume two and pages. So you can easily match these up. So you can read the chapters or chapters that are pertaining to your study in the pages of history. Okay. Now, let me just tell you something. I work with a school that uses Veritas Press History, and I've been actually purchasing it for them for years. And I never realized what Pages of History was and how integral Pages of History would be for the teachers. And now I'm like, oh, no, these teachers need these. <laughs> so um, that's why I wanted to make this video, because I didn't like get that. And so when I don't get something um, and then I do get it, then I thought, you know what, there's probably other people that also didn't get that and didn't realize what these books were and how cool they are. So Pages of History Volume 2 is then what's actually going to match up with Explorers 2, 1815 and then 1815 to present. So this is the one we'll actually be in this year and we'll go through about half the book this year. I do plan to read this as part of our bedtime reading. And so again, I guess I'll just show you the table of contents. And then of course it is just a book like the other one with a few black and white pictures thrown in. And then um, in the back, see it has Explorers to 1815, the card number, the card title, and then the chapters. So for the card number one, you're just going to read chapter two, but then card number two, you're also reading chapter two. Card number three, you're also reading chapter two. So you could do that however you wanted. You could read the, say, the chapter over and over again. You could just read it once and review it. I mean, it's really up to you, but basically you'll go through that and then 1815 to present and you'll finish out this book. So I was super excited to see that. So that is what we have here with the Veritas Press history flashcards and pages of history. I hope that was helpful to you. Um, 
And anyway, that is all I have for today. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you love all things homeschool. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.